Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to copy Power Query steps from one workbook to another. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have a workbook here and it has a table and it's from our Tulsa, Oklahoma location for October. And I also have another file that is from the Austin, Texas location for November. Now they're structured identically. The only difference is the Austin, Texas has 28 rows of data where the Tulsa, Oklahoma only has 20 rows of data. Other than that, they're virtually identical. The other thing is that under table design, you can see it's called MCAT for employee categories. And the other file, the table name is also MCAT. So that's important with this scenario. The table names have to be identical. The table structures have to be identical with the same headings, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to run some Power Query steps on this table and then copy those to the other file. So I'm going to go to the Data tab from Table Range and the Power Query Editor will appear. And here are the steps that I'm going to go through. The first thing I want to do is take these last four columns and under the Transform tab, I'm going to unpivot them. Then I'm going to take the Attribute column, go back to the Home tab, and I'm going to split the column by a delimiter. I'm going to use a space, and I want it to be the rightmost delimiter since there are two spaces in all the items in that attribute column. I'll say OK, and now that column is split to fuller part-time and for gender. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the headings of these columns to total, gender, and this one I'll call FTPT, full-time, part-time. And that should be it. Those are all the changes I want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and close and load this. It's going to bring it back to the main Excel workbook. And you can see on sheet one, I have the table. And now in sheet two, I have a restructured table that will be much easier to run some pivot tables against to analyze that data. I'm just going to widen this out a little bit. So now when we go to the other worksheet, what I want to do is copy those steps from the first one to this one. So all I need to do is under the Queries and Connections, and if this was closed, I just need to go to the Data tab and click on Queries and Connections. I'm just going to right click and select Copy. Then I'll go to the other workbook. Again, go to the Data tab, select Queries and Connections. Again, I'll widen this a little bit so you can see it better right click into this blank area, click on paste, and immediately Excel activates those steps. And now for the Austin, Texas location for November, I've applied those exact same steps from the other Power Query file that we did to this one. So I can analyze my data accurately. And that's how you can do this in Excel.